A total of 86 single males from Cuba, Venezuela, Nicaragua, and Colombia are now in Juarez waiting to be called to U.S. immigration courts. Border Report's Julian Descendes has been talking to officials on both sides of the border and joins us now with the story. So, Julian, walk us back a little. Why is this program so controversial? Natasha, former President Trump started the Migrant Protection Protocols Program in response to the caravans and migrant surge of 2018-2019. Advocates said it denied due process to asylum seekers and was meant to make them feel unsafe in Mexico, so much so that they would go back to their countries. Last Wednesday, the Biden administration, facing an even bigger migrant surge than Trump, restarted the program. And Julian, you were in Juarez today following that story. So what is different between the way the Trump and Biden administrations are handling MPP? Natasha, on the one hand, I'm seeing heavy involvement from international aid agencies, such as the Red Cross and the United Nations, in screening migrants and transporting them to shelters. During Trump, they were basically on their own once they went back to Mexico. On the other hand, they are still denied the right to stay on this side of the border until a judge rules on the merits of their asylum case. And we don't know how long they'll be allowed to stay in Juarez shelters, which are already 75% full. Advocates back in 2019 documented thousands of cases of abuse against these migrants once they hit the streets of Juarez and other Mexican border cities. All right, Julian, thank you so much for being with us here today. And if you would like to read Julian's full story, go to borderreport.com.